Here is the adapter for hooking the hose for the gasifier up to my engine on the generator. Um, basically, it's just a rough cutout of the uh, the spacer that's in, on the carburetor right now. I just use that to kind of template out and get this uh, this design, these contours and divots and stuff. Um, and then uh, this metal was just off of a piece of uh, like old bed frame. And ironically, the holes were perfectly spaced uh, for the studs on the carburetor. So all I had to do was just drill that middle part out and uh, contour it. And then I just took a 45 degree one inch pipe fitting and I welded it. Um, I welded it on top and on the bottom and then along the edge where the stud is and where the nut is going to go uh, I just ground it down pretty pretty uh, thinly I can't really see it now but um, the wall is pretty thin and uh, and then I just put some RTV over it to seal it up so now I should be able to put this on the generator and I'm going to put a one inch uh, pipe nipple coming out of this end and then I'll be able to hook up the hose for the gasifier. So on to the next step. All right, so we are ready to try out the gasifier. This is the gasifier from my old videos, except I cut the top off just below the outlet, added a five gallon bucket to give it more hopper space, and then I basically sealed it all up with RTV. Um, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have any air leaks, but I haven't run an engine off of it since it was uh, modified so maybe it will have a leak and I'll have to fix that but anyway it's going to come down to this filter it's a paint can with uh, some foam in it just to catch the particles and then it's going to come out here to a T and uh, this is where my uh, startup fan is going to be and once it gets going I'm going to take the fan off and then I'm just going to use a piece of tape over the end of the, uh, the pipe uh, to get the air fuel mixture right so that I can then run it up into the engine um, but before I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, run the engine uh, so that it, it uh, runs out of gas I'm, I've got the fuel valve shut off so I'm just going to let it run until it dies just to make sure that there's no gas in the carburetor so that when it does start up it is running on the charcoal gas so we shall see what happens. I'm running the generator uh, out of gas. Oh, there it goes. It just ran out of gas. So I'm gonna get the gasifier fired up and uh, see if we can get it running on charcoal. I don't, re don't recall how I left this uh, gasifier. So I'm going to just stick this piece of metal. Well, I can get it. Basically I'm just trying to get get the uh, the charcoal visible if there's any ash on the uh, just so that it can ignite it. So all right so now we're gonna come over here we're gonna turn on the, the startup fan. I have no idea how much actual suction we're going to get through this because, oh no, it actually has some pretty good suction. All right, here we go. All right. It's crackling. I can hear it. Okay, let's move this over here so I don't blow up. All right, let's get the torch. I have no idea 
because I can't see. Okay, I think it's going because I can feel a lot of heat coming off of this. Oh yeah. It's burning. Oop, it was burning. let this rock and roll for a minute here. Whoo, this is a big deal. This is really, really big. Oh dear, okay. That should be good enough. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, I just realized that I probably need to cover this. All right, I got to put the put the camera down. Well, I couldn't get it running on the charcoal gas. Uh, the battery on this generator is actually pretty small, so it, I can't crank it for very long on the battery without it, you know, dying maybe after just a couple minutes of trying. So um, I'm gonna try it once more. I gotta run it for a little while to charge the battery back up, and then uh, on, on gasoline, and then I'm gonna go and try the charcoal gas again and see if I can, I, I'm going to run the charcoal gas fire a little bit longer on the flare and just see if I can get it hotter and hotter and hotter and see if that, that changes everything. So again, I haven't run any engines on this new configuration of, of gas fire. So there might be an air leak that I, I, I don't know about. That's a problem. So I'll have to sort all that out. All right. Okay, so it's running on charcoal gas. All the way over, I'm just using this uh, magnet to block off the air on the T and then there. And I did take the uh, filter out of the mix because I think it's actually not passing enough air through. I need to figure out a better way to do filtration. But uh, yeah, so it's been running for about five, six minutes now. I'm gonna run it a little bit so that it charges the battery on the generator. All right, here we go, my first tool run on uh, charcoal gas. And I did cut a piece of wood with it just to make sure it can actually cut. See? Yeehaw! Okay, so we are looking at overheat. It's uh, like a thousand, yeah, I saw a thousand forty-one, thousand fifty, uh, right at the heart of the whole thing. And it gets uh, up to about 400 degrees, the top of that. And then when you jumps to this one, then it cools down quite a bit because there's a lot more charcoal in here. So that's 107 at the top, 110 at the output, 112 on the sump hose. So, yeah, buddy. All right, here we go. All righty, it worked. Generator is running. Off of the charcoal. I just wanted to try hooking it up to our refrigerator and seeing how it works. And it works! When you get into the world of gasification, Anytime you see stuff on the ground like this, you're thinking, oh wow, that's like another couple of minutes of runtime for my engine. So 
I just accidentally spilled all this charcoal, so I'm picking through the grass because now it's valuable to me uh, as a fuel uh, for the engine. So just something to keep in mind. You start noticing little things like this and becoming aware of uh, waste that can be used as fuel. It's very interesting. Just wanted to show you what the uh, level looks like after I'd run it for about 15 total minutes um, with about five minutes of that having our refrigerator inside plugged into it. So it was pulling a load for the last five minutes. So, so it dropped. You can't really tell. It's kind of hard to see, but um, this, this lip, I don't know if you can see that, this lip right here. Uh, the charcoal was basically right up to that lip, and now it's about, uh, I'd say, two inches below that uh, that lip. So, actually, if you if you think about from the bottom, just below this pipe here, down to here is about that far, and that that's about how much charcoal um, has dropped. So. And I actually shut it down because stuff started smoking. And when I added this five gallon bucket, I basically used RTV because I really didn't want to try to weld this thin walled steel stuff. So I don't, I, I checked with my thermometer and it said it was up around 500 degrees and the, the red RTV, I think that's what I used, right? I think so, I think it's orange, but it's red. The red RTV I think is, um, supposed to be up to like 600 650 so I was probably getting close to that that uh heat level so I don't know how much longer this gasifier will work in this fashion but uh as far as for this test you know I accomplished what I want to I think the only thing left that I want to accomplish is running the uh, uh generator fueled by this and then plugging it into my 30 amp inlet on my house and actually running some circuits directly in the house. But this time I actually ran uh, just an extension cord from the generator over to our uh, refrigerator. So it was at least running the refrigerator. And uh, yeah, it worked It worked pretty good. Um, I did notice that it was running pretty rough. And what had happened was the AC overload kicked in uh, because I guess I had applied a load when it was too, the RPM was too low or something. And so when the AC overload is 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 uh, flashing um it it runs in like this limp mode um so it doesn't damage the circuitry i guess and uh, so i reset the the breakers and then i reset there's a button that says ac reset and when i click that all of a sudden the engine sped up and uh was operating at a, a much smoother rpm and uh so there's just something i didn't know about but once i did that then my refrigerator kicked on and everything was fine so um, that's about it. I'm going to sign off right now because i got to put all this stuff away. But uh, I'm really happy with what happened today. I'm very happy that I was able to run my generator off of this gasifier. Um, I'll, once this cools down um, tomorrow or so, I'll, I'll dump out the charcoal and show everybody what the nozzle looks like. I did look at it earlier after my first run with the generator. And it was um, in pretty much the same shape as it's been this whole time. Just impeccable, basically. Uh, so we'll see. We'll see after running it with a load for about five minutes and, and see you know if there's any degradation uh, on the nozzle. Because uh, once I figure out what I want to do with this uh, nozzle, I'm going to get my my big water tank back there underneath the black plastic is uh, my next gasifier that I'm going to be throwing together. And I just want to know what kind of nozzle I want to go with uh, for the longest lifespan of uh of the equipment so uh but other than that everything went went well and i'm really pleased so have a great night everybody